guys, before we get into this video, I would recommend if you're not someone that likes to tinker with stuff, uh, I wouldn't buy any water pumps off of Amazon. This is probably the third pump I've picked up, and uh, this one's even got an issue with it. So, uh, I decided to step it up a notch. Um, I was basically going for $20 pumps. Uh, the first one I got was a 12 volt pump, and uh, two of those died uh, with less than a year. Um, I went for another $20. $20 pump that was plug you plug in and it was 120 volt and um, I just found out that the the pin that holds the impeller is loose and the impeller is actually rubbing on the inside of the casing so once in a while it'll just stop for no reason so that's number two um, too cheap to bother to re refund or try and send back this one here it's got some promise I took it out of the box and had a quick look at it it's uh, pretty beefy the only issue it has is it's missing parts. <laughs> it's actually missing the smallest adapter uh, for me to actually put it on my unit. So, I don't know. I'm either going to try and get a refund or try and get them to send me the part, which I doubt they will. I'll have to make something up. But anyway, uh, the specs on this pump are a little conflicting. This, this is the 55 watt, but yet on the box it says uh, 25 watt. H max is 2M and the flow rate is 1200 LH. So it's uh, made by um, Water Bear, whoever that is. It's kind of a weird name. WB S103. And this one is much bigger than the $20 units. But like I said, it's missing parts, so that could be a pain in the butt. Like those are way too big for what I need. Uh, the only issue I can find on Amazon with this one besides it's missing parts, is um, someone complained that the, the flow rate on the side here doesn't work. So we're going to test that theory. Um, it's also easy to take apart to clean. Sticky things on the bottom work pretty good. Pull this, in, this housing off. Basically the water comes in the sides, and when you turn this, it uh, lets the water in to the middle. And this so much cuts it off, so I don't see how, why that wouldn't work. Now let me get the housing off and we'll uh, take a look at the inside. Now this one's pretty easy to pull apart. It's not as uh, thin, cheap plastic that the other ones had. Uh, this one here, the impeller, you just basically turn this like that and pull. And the shaft will come right out. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have any issues with that unless it uh, cracks around here. The impeller is huge. So that impeller is huge. It's going to pump some good water. So if you have to clean it out, if it gets full of weeds or um, roots or whatever, it's easy to clean. Easy to put back together. So that's basically how that works. All right, let's uh, get a pail set up and see what the uh, flow rate is like. Okay, let's plug it in and see. That's got some pressure. What I want to do is I want to see if that um, thing on the side actually, on the front actually works. So right now it's straight up. Put it straight down. And if, even if it cuts it in half by half, then it's doing something, right? Uh, they're saying it does nothing. Uh, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the difference here. I don't think that thing even works. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So this is what I'm talking about when it comes to pumps off of Amazon. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure it'll work. What I, I basically just need to pump. Um, fluid through a uh, chiller and back into a bucket so it uh, doesn't matter to me about the pressure I'm gonna have to come up with a different adapter though but I figured I'd show that it comes with instructions basically telling you not to, not to um, uh, run it without water or anything like that uh, yeah 
you don't have to let the pump run dry. Um, he says you can adjust the flow as necessary, but uh, obviously that doesn't work. So the guy that posted the review was right. But uh, if you want a good, powerful pump, it actually does work pretty good. Later.